is Steve Beeson with American Ironworks. Today we're going to perform a simulated piping failure using the HMPE type roping restraint. This restraint here has a 15,000 PSI rating in both liquid and in gases. During our, we're going to perform a series of three tests. During our first test, we have compromised this fitting in this area here, and we're hoping that it's going to fail around 14,000 PSI. During this test here, this pipe will go to the left, this one will go to the right, and the system will probably hold in this configuration because it is doubled in this area here. The manufacturer of this type of restraint says that you can take this 10 foot leg and you do not have to double wrap each individual fitting like plug valves, T valves, stuff like that. So you do have the potential for failures out here in the center of this. On our second test we're going to install a compromised nipple in this area here to where this single leg takes 100% of the load. Good morning guys, Steve Beeson with American Ironworks. Last week we performed a series of tests on the gangline roping restraint and we found that this system here, even though it was rated for 15,000 PSI, it failed at 3,400 PSI. This morning we are going to show you why the system failed. There have been a couple of good studies on dynamic loading of piping restraints and the, the guys with the PhD behind their name say that a two inch pipe failing at 15,000 PSI will produce between 44,000 pounds of load to 55,000 pounds of load to the restraint. So again, when this restraint is installed as per instructions like it is here, we're going to put it in a test bed and we're going to pull it and the target load that we are looking for is 44,000 pounds. Yeah. 